what's up everybody it's your favorite trigger man's favorite nerd and today we are looking at sh figuarts first order heavy gunner stormtrooper uh, i think this was exclusive to their website i got hooked up with it from uh, mr pinkerton from the roc a uh, good dude and looked out for me we're going to talk about the accessories first because that's kind of the gimmick of this guy and and then we're going to get into the guy itself and we're going to take a look at any differences to the old initial release from them in, in regards to their first order trooper so let's talk about this gun first it is cool and it is mean and vicious looking it looks like it can do work the paint is paint is fairly clean and sharp throughout it has this piece here which is like an add-on piece and this piece here which swivels which is like he looks down there in order to get the sight i never really noticed that in the movie but that's cool so it's pegged into the back here and into this piece here and you gotta gotta you can pull the i don't know it, it doesn't feel like a great way to do it uh, it is it's a weird design to go in it's definitely insert first and then pull up but to go out it just doesn't seem like there's a real clean way to do it so to speak I think that this is the, I don't know, let's see, let's have an experiment. See, to me, this this finger, this hand, rather, feels like it should um, be like the barrel holder, so to speak, but this hand, it just seems like it's going to be too tight, let's see. You know, because the other option for this is he comes with a little gun on his hip now, which is fine. There we go. Thought we had. This is uh, extremely frustrating. There it is. All right. And that does hold it just fine. Good grief. Now, let's take a look at the gun on his hip. Which is frustrating in its own right as well. Because it comes with these two pegs, which are just relatively unsightly. However, that holds it much better. So that's a nice change. Now, like I said, I didn't look at the instructions because... I'm a man, but I tried, as you saw, with this hand, and it just doesn't look like a good fit for this thing. This feels like a much better fit. Now, what this also can do is fit onto this thing, and then now it's just here, and then this hinge is at the bottom, so you can kind of use that. That's the only articulation to it, though, which is a bit strange. I thought. I would imagine this would have swiveled and everything else, but it doesn't. It just sort of sits there. Uh, which will do, I guess, but certainly isn't what you expect at this price point. And then the rest of the stuff you just store in the box. So let's talk about the figure. The same head sculpt as before, and it's on a double ball peg. And then the neck is also on a ball peg as well. So tons of articulation, and it's one of my favorite figures, uh, sculpt-wise. There's only a few new things. Everything else is pretty much the same. We'll run through it real quick. So we have a, a ball joint in the torso coming out to a hinge on the shoulder, and then these shoulder pads are also on a ball peg on, a, on a, two hinges. So you can get the arm all the way up and then adjust the shoulder pad as need be, and then it swivels all the way around. The ball joint inside helps you get a little bit of a bi uh, butterfly joint, but not the best. Thigh, uh, bicep swivel right there below the shoulder at the armor piece, double jointed elbow getting you almost the full range, black accents along the way looking sharp as attack. Wrist uh, hinge up and down and then swivel to get, well you should be able to swivel them, mine's a little tight so to speak to get the end out. Same for the other side, we have a, I think it's a hinge. Uh, it might be a double ball peg, I can't tell, at the upper torso. That works well, and then a single ball peg on a hinge, it feels like, at the lower torso. And that works well as well for full range. All these little bits here uh, are on little hinges, so they can flip up so that they won't get in your way. And then you come down to basically a universal joint, which gets you out to there, forward to there. Doesn't drop down. Thigh swivel built in, very tight. Double jointed knee, getting you past 90 degrees, 
with an ankle tilt up, nothing back? Is that right? guess so. And an ankle rocker that works really well along with a toe hinge. Now, this piece here is just a, a separate piece that was like glued in so that it can store the weapon. Other than that, I think it's the same exact mold with the exception of the vest. I can't be 100% sure, but it looks like it to me. I mean, down to the pouches. So let's talk about that. It is, I can't, I'm guessing a, the bottom piece is sculpted on and then it's glued on to this piece. It's pretty cool. A lot of sculpted detail, little rivets and stuff in the material along the way and then the paint is clean on it and then there's another strap going around the torso uh, and that's, that's the difference there uh, in terms of, you know, sculpt. It's just, it's just that piece. But, I mean, that's screen accurate. You know, we shouldn't have really expected anything more. And it is an exclusive, so uh, it kind of makes sense, right? So you want the negatives and the final thoughts? Here they are. The price and the exclusivity of it. Those are the negatives. The fact that it's using the same mold is not a negative. It's a positive. If you want an army of stormtroopers, you want them looking fairly identical. So that's not really a negative. The negatives are really that it's a little bit more expensive and the magic of the toy is kind of gone because you already have a representation of the mold probably, but you still got to pay. You got to pay to play, as they say. All day in the hay. Made it out of clay. doesn't matter. There's a presence here that I can't deny. When he's holding the rifle and he's looking down like that, like, it does, it does look cool. I'll try to get you some more angles and stuff. Like, it does look cool. There's no doubt about it. The accessory is a little weird, and I wish it articulated more. I, 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 I kind of find it hard to believe that it doesn't. Like, I, I've probably messed with it four or five times just to see if it, if it doesn't move. I don't like the pegs on the side of the gun, too. There's not as much thought here in general as what I'm used to with SH Figuarts, but it's still a beautiful display piece. The truth is you can never have enough troopers and in the first order what is cool is that there are differentiating aspects of the of the trooper armor to kind of make your shelf look more dynamic. So that's a bonus and ultimately getting this is definitely not going to hurt and you will enjoy it. It's just an awful lot of money to pay for a toy that you're kind of already familiar with without that, you know, like we talked about, like that met opening up new toy magic. But uh, I do recommend it because I think it's going to be harder to get as time goes on and it would be nice to kind of check the box of and it does make for a good display piece and the quality is good. It's really just, you know having to pay, you know, but you know, you, you gotta pay, Nothing, nothing's for free in this world, that's what my dad used to say, and it still rings true, you know, sometimes I look at these people, all these stormtroopers, and I'm like, man, like, it's impressive, right, like, you're taken back by, it. like, I look through, like, some of these Facebook groups or whatever, and, like, these guys have, like, these displays, like, just looks like hundreds of stormtroopers, you know, like, my wife gives me grief with the little bit of stormtroopers I already have, she doesn't know how good she has it. Wow, look at this picture, look how, look how many stormtroopers this guy has, Laura. Sure is a lot. Right, yeah. I mean, he's pretty lucky to have a wife that would be so understanding uh, to let him get so many stormtroopers. So lucky. Yeah. Well, you know, you're kind of lucky too. I, I don't ask for that many, so there's that. But yeah, what I'll say is that it's not inspiring, it's not motivating, it's not necessarily a rewarding purchase, but I think it's a necessary purchase, so yes, I do recommend it. It's just don't expect to be overwhelmed with joy. Just expect a, a kind of general sense of satisfaction because that's kind of what it feels like. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.